Hey guys, good morning. It's a long time no see. So you may have noticed, you may not have noticed, but I have not posted a video in a couple of weeks. Um, so I figured I'd just kind of sit down, get ready this morning. It's Saturday morning and I have some stuff to do today, so I'm getting ready and I figured we could just sit down and chat while I got ready today. So have you guys been listening to this new Sugarland and Taylor Swift song that just came out? Because I have. <laughs> if you have an artist who you've been following for a long time, then you probably know just that awesome feeling you get when they release a new song, even if they just wrote it, even if they're just featured on it, like, it doesn't matter. It just puts you in, like, the best mood and you just want to listen to it over and over and over again. And that is how I feel about, like, every time Taylor Swift releases anything. So you probably can't tell because I don't, um, normally film without makeup on. <laughs> but my skin in the past couple years, maybe, I want to say it was, like, 2015, 2016, somewhere in that year time span, um, my skin got so bad, and I don't know what it was. I still haven't really figured it out. I had speculations about what the heck was happening, but I didn't know at all. So I spent like a year and a half in phases of like trying different skincare things and also just trying not to use any skincare products and just trying to like let my skin breathe and do whatever the heck it wanted to do. But I could not figure out what it was that was bothering my skin. I could not understand like I was just getting breakouts all along my cheeks here and I had so much texture and so much redness and that went on for like a year and a half basically until I moved here last August my skin was awful and since I've been here I don't know part of me thinks it's like whatever's in the water which seems strange but I know like back at home um at my parents house I know the water really messed with like my hair like I had a whole big thing Again, if you've been around here for a while, you might remember. <laughs> but I had this whole thing where like my hair was turning green um, and it just looked awful and it was breaking and it basically wouldn't grow past here. So I had that issue. So it wasn't like crazy to think that maybe the water was doing something with my skin too. But I was also living in Buffalo at the time um, and I was back and forth between Indiana and Buffalo. So... <sighs> I don't quite know if that's what it was, but it was something, and something just like set it off, and I could not get rid of it for like a year and a half, and I still have remnants from it, like I still have red some redness and some scarring from it that I can't get rid of quite yet, <laughs> that are stubborn. The only thing now that really bugs me is I have these like permanent dark circles under my eyes, but we won't turn this into like a Bryn bashing vest, because <laughs> I could sit here forever and be like, I hate this about myself, which don't do that, that's terrible. Um, but I know, we all have our days. I actually tried to vlog last weekend and I was gonna post it, but then I was looking over the footage and it was basically just clip after clip of me being like, I have awful dark circles and look at this redness on my face. And I've been eating crap, I've been eating terribly and this and that and this and that. And it was basically just me like complaining about myself and I was like, I'm not gonna post this. <laughs> so anyway, since I've been here in August, my hair has been better, my skin has been better, um, and I have been actually like trying new skincare products. Come on. Hello. <laughs> so I've been debating doing like a skincare routine video just because I have all these great products that I love that have been making my skin better, I think. Um, but I can't decide because it's not something where like, I know I used this product and this product and it made my skin better. Um, because at the end of the day with things like that, you just don't know. Like, I wish I would have gone to see like a dermatologist or a professional of some sort to like actually figure it out. I would have wasted a lot less money <laughs> trying different products and throwing them away and having them expire because I didn't like them. Um, or just spending a bunch of money on stuff that didn't work from it in the past six, seven, eight months or so. I've found a lot of products that I really love, whether that's like moisturizer, serums, face masks, like face scrubs. I just have like this routine of skincare that I love and I, that I feel like is actually working for me. But I know that stuff can be kind of hit or miss because everyone's skin is very different and what works for me might not work for you. Um, what works for me might not work for anyone else. Who the hell knows? <laughs> skin is very strange so I figured out what works for me and the products and the ingredients that like I think really help 
but it's all kind of speculation, so I haven't decided if I want to do that. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. So now I've spent all that time priming my face, I can actually like put makeup on. Um, this has been my favorite combination lately. I talked about this in one of my recent favorite videos, how much I love this, but when I'm looking for a little more coverage, um, I'll add this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Stupid expensive. Both of these are stupid expensive, and combining them is just like ridiculous. But <laughs> I like them both on their own, but this is pretty full coverage for me, at least. Um, I don't like having like an extra layer of like <laughs> mask on my skin. Um, I like my makeup to still look like skin, so I like to mix it in with this and it kind of waters it down a little bit. Um, but I find they mix really well together and they just look really pretty, so I'm gonna do that. Also, sorry my voice is kind of weird today. <laughs> I can't... You know, I woke up about an hour ago, but I did not sleep very well last night, so... You know, sometimes your body just does not want to work with you. So I guess I should talk about the elephant in the room, which is that I haven't posted in a very long time. <laughs> I always hate talking about stuff like this because when I'm working on things that are more creative or more like... I'm just doing them for me. Um, I don't always know if anything's gonna happen with it. I mean, most likely probably nothing. So it's always weird to talk about it because then it starts bringing up expectations. Like, Bryn, you said you were working on this. Like, where is it? I wanna see it. Um, which is totally fine and totally normal and I completely understand. And I don't know if you remember, but I tried to do NaNoWriMo last year and it was a really weird experience. It didn't really, I didn't do very well, but I was really excited about it and I tried really hard to make it work. And so even though I didn't do very well and I didn't make it very far, I was vlogging it and I was talking about it and I was being open about it, which I've never really done with any writing endeavor ever before. Um, so it was really new for me and I had really high expectations and because I talked about it and because I was putting so much pressure on myself, it just didn't pan out as I wanted it to, which is fine and totally understandable, but I did try to vlog all those four weeks and and it was great like people were really nice about it and people seemed to like those videos like they did fairly well um a lot of people watched them and enjoyed them and i ended up getting like a bunch of emails from people that i'm a jerk and never responded to um about like hey how's that going and like i want to hear more about that process and like and like i would love to talk to you more about it so we can figure out like once you're done writing like what your next step should be and like that's incredibly nice and i love that people did that and I probably even have some emails back from then that I never opened, like, because I'm terrible about answering emails in my personal life. I apologize if you were someone who emailed me, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> because I'm talking, this is like taking me forever to do my makeup. This is why I don't film Get Ready With Me. They take me like 10 times longer than a normal, like, me getting ready would take <laughs> because I'm busy talking to myself. Um, people were so nice, but the pressure of it kind of got to me like the fact that I was filming it the fact that I expected like I was prepared I was like yes I'm gonna write 50,000 words but I spent half my time filming and the other half like worrying about what's gonna happen if I don't do well and I was reading all these emails from people wanting to know more about it and I was just like I feel too much pressure <laughs> and so with just writing I was working on something I was really happy with it but the pressure just got to me so the past few weeks, I've actually been really on top of it. Um, I'm kind of worried that saying it out loud is going to like mess something up because I've been really motivated and I've worked on it really hard the past few weeks and I don't want that to change. <laughs> but I'm actually at about 57,000 words of something, I think, and I have no expectations for it. I don't plan for it to go anywhere. And like it's just terrible writing and I will probably I intend to go back and rewrite it and make it better and edit it and things like that but a lot of it now is me just wanting to finish something and being able to say that like yes I wrote something beginning to end it was crap it didn't go anywhere but I did it and that in itself is an accomplishment anyway I'm gonna stop rambling about it but if you were curious what I've been doing the past two weeks why I haven't been filming it's because I've been spending all of my time 
writing. <laughs> and it's really cool because I've struggled in the past coming up with ways to stay motivated with writing. Like I've tried hitting word counts. Um, I've tried writing at the same time every day. I've tried scheduling blocks of time to write. I've tried pretty much all the methods and I was basically just making my way through them and researching different ways and trying them and seeing what worked. Anyway, I'm really rambling, but what ended up working for me is I write in 20 minute sprints. So I find that I can pay attention to something non-stop without distractions for about 20 minutes. Um, hopefully over time it'll get a little longer because that feels kind of short <laughs> for someone's attention span, but I find I can focus solely on writing, forget everything else for 20 minutes a day. It's less than the amount of time it takes to watch a sitcom episode, like it's not that much time. I can get in bed at night at 9 o'clock and be like, okay, yeah, I can spend 20 minutes just writing. Like, that's fine. That's not a lot of time. And then go to bed. Um, yes, I go to bed that early. Don't judge me. <laughs> but I found that in 20 minutes, I can write anywhere from 800 words to 1200 words. So typically about a thousand. Um, sometimes if I'm really good, I'm a little over. Sometimes when I'm struggling a little bit, I'm a little under. But 20 minutes gets me at about a thousand words. So I find this just like, it's been a really good pace for me. Like, take 20 minutes out of your day, whether it's over your lunch break, whether it's right before you go to bed, whether it's right away in the morning, doesn't matter. Just take 20 minutes, write a thousand words, get it done, and you're on pace. All right, so I just set my face and I'm about to go in with a bronzer. Uh, by the way, I got this brush at Sephora. It's the Makeup Forever 122 Straight and Wavy Brush. And this brush is stupidly priced, but it is the most amazing brush I've ever owned in my entire life. You could use it for foundation, any sort of powders, bronzers, blushes, whatever, like, and it's so soft, which is really good for me because I have a tendency of, like, going in heavy and just, like, adding product like a mad woman, <laughs> and then I step back and I'm like, oh my god, I put so much bronzer on my face. And this one is so soft and so just, like, light-handed that it really helps me just, like, add product very lightly at a time. <laughs> and not go crazy. So um, another thing that I've been really good at for these past few weeks is exercising. And God, I hate exercising so much, um, which is why I haven't done it for most of my life. But for the past few weeks, I the weather's been better, which always helps me like want to work out and want to like be more motivated to do things in general. Ugh, this brush just blends things out like a dream. But yeah, so I've been walking a ton. I found like a personal trainer that has like a three week course that I paid just like $25 for and it has like all these workout videos that you can just follow. So I really like those. Um, and then on days where it's nice outside, I'll just take like a 30 minute walk and just try to, you know, get a bigger, get a better pace than just, you know, slow. <laughs> but like, I'm just proud of myself for getting this far and being able to do anything really. Um, I've also been loving this blush lately. This is the Hourglass Dim Infusion. It's like this really nice peachy light blush. I really like it. Um, this was also another Sephora splurge. God, I get so good. This is just me in general, like buying things. I will be so good for a few weeks. And then one Friday, I'll get a paycheck and I'll be like, let's go to the mall. And I'll spend so much money in one day. And I'm just like, what? happened to me. Like, <laughs> I just basically wasted the last three weeks that I spent not buying things. What is wrong with me? Something I would like to know. I've also been really loving this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. It's really great. This is the only drugstore priced product. No, this and my Milani setting spray are the only two drugstore products that I use. I realize this is not great. I do like drugstore products. I just find I don't, I have a lot of drugstore products. I just find I don't use them near as much as when I splurge on something. So like I said, I'll go to Sephora and I'll just splurge and I'll find all these beautiful things that I just love. Like, I guess just because I spent more money on them, I have more incentive to continue to use them every day. So like, I like drugstore products, but anymore, like if I'm going to spend money on makeup, I'd rather just spend it on something that I really love and that I'm going to use because more and more I find if I buy a drugstore product I end up just 
not using it because there's something more expensive that I have that I want to use and get my money's worth out of. I got rid of a lot of my makeup about a year ago, last summer, um, before I moved, and I've been fairly good about not adding more, or if I add more, I get rid of something. So I've kind of been left with my more expensive stuff because it's easier to get rid of things and not use things that were cheaper. I've also been really loving this hourglass highlighting stick. God, I... These are the only three things, I think, that I got recently that were crazy expensive. Um, but this is just so pretty. It looks... It's like highlighty, like it's a noticeable highlight without being like in your face. And I find that it works really well over powder, which is great because I have fairly oily skin, um, so I have to powder my face. So I love cream highlights more so than I love powder highlights, but um, a lot of them just don't work over top of powders, so I have to put them under powder and then you don't see them. Um, or they just like, if, and then if I don't put powder over it, it just falls off my face. But like, look at that. No highlight, highlight, no highlight, highlight. <laughs> also, how excited are we that the night, nope, not the 1989 tour, the Reputation tour, God, is happening soon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still holding on to 1989, man. That was, that was a good era. I can't let it go. <laughs> um, the Reputation tour. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Normally I would leave my eyes like this. But I kind of feel like doing something. I have these couple of palettes here with me. Um, I kind of want to go for something bronzy. So I don't want to do anything too intense, I say, but you never know how it's going to look five minutes from now. <laughs> um, I never do eyeshadow. If I could like stop doing one thing in my makeup routine, it would easily be eyeshadow. I just don't really care about it very much. So I don't think I said, but I'm going furniture shopping today. I'm looking for a couch. Now I'm gonna go in with this like bronzier shade in here. This is the Kathleen Lights Morphe palette, by the way. I haven't used this in a very long time. Oh, that's not what I thought that would look like. It's more than I intended for today, but I'm also like, a little bit of eyeshadow feels like a lot of eyeshadow to me. So what do I know? Some people get by with much more than this on a daily basis. So I'm curious because I've been writing a lot and I've been fairly busy with work and such. Um, I'm curious what kind of videos or blog posts or just content in general you would like to see from me. Just because a lot of my mental energy just focused on other things right now, and I hate to say that, <laughs> um, but you know, it's you can't focus on 10 things at once, or if you can, you're a superhuman and I don't understand you. <laughs> so if you can help me out and let me know what types of things you wanna see, like, I, I like doing vlogs because they feel more personal and I can just kind of talk and not have you know, a specific intention in mind. They're just kind of fun to watch and have on in the background sometimes. Um, just to listen to people chat about their life and they don't need to be, you know, high pressure. Like, I'm teaching you how to do this today or, you know, we're doing this, this, and this, whatever. But I don't know, I like to mix it up. I don't like to do the same thing every week. You know, I don't wanna basically put out the exact same vlog every single weekend. I mean, that gets kind of boring, right? So, you know, something you want advice on or something you want to know more about or, I don't know, maybe something I've done in the past that you want me to do again? I don't know. All right, for mascara, I have a weird combo. I use the Lancome Monsieur Big on my top lashes and I use the Benefit Roller Lash on my bottom lashes. So, how you know your high maintenance. But I just find this one is very liquidy and I do find occasionally that it like flakes off. So I don't like it on my bottom lashes for that reason. But I love it on my top lashes. So I compromise. Alright, so last but not least. I have my favorite lip liner again. I finally bought a pencil sharpener. 
and therefore can use my favorite lip liner. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude in the color... I think it's Borderline. I think. I think that's the name. All right, well, I've been at this for about an hour, <laughs> um, and I need to brush my hair and get dressed and such, so I'm not gonna bring you along with me because, again, it takes me like five times longer to do things when the camera's on than I would normally, and I end up putting way more makeup on. <laughs> um, this is a lot more than I intended for a day of furniture shopping, but it's fine. It's whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish getting ready, and I will talk to you again soon. <laughs>